Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and I'm going to be doing a beautiful reading for you. Actually I'm going to be doing two. The first one's going to be based on this card of chaos and conflict. And the other one is going to be on this card of balance. The message today is that your past has been teaching you that out of imbalance comes balance. The true self. Discovering who you are. That's why this chaos and conflict card shows a zebra, but with very different striping than a zebra would have. But you can see it starting to show underneath. Because the chaos and conflict is shaking things up in a way that is eliminating what isn't fitting, what isn't true to you. So we're going to take a look at that card. We're going to go in depth and then later on in this one. Alright, beautiful ones. Here we go. The first deck we're going to be taking from is the Soul's Journey. Okay, so here we go. Trust. I accept that my inner voice will always guide me correctly. You've had a lot of inner guidance in this journey that you've been on. A lot of things letting you know where to go, what to do, how to get there. Okay? I want to take another one of these. I'm hearing from them it's so important to listen to listen internally to what's going on with you so that you know that you're following things the way you should be um, like I said sometimes it's hard to listen to it when we are in a state of complete disarray surrender I can release my need to control so yesterday we also had that four of, in the second reading, the four of uh, pentacles that was begging you to release all of that stuff, right? The big message is, is when things like this start happening to you, trust that there's a higher power. You're going through these things for a reason. The mountain. Look at this. I love the fact that 33 is 6 and this one is 6. You know, we tend to think that the things that happen to us happen to us and it's a hindrance when it's actually guidance to get you out of the wrong path into the right one. I really feel that's what they've been telling you. That sometimes when you look at mountains, it's to show you the light. You see? The light is shining on the mountain. I'm going to read here because I, I need to see what else is saying. You have the capacity to flow around any obstacle. And this is how you adapt. Okay? I love this. Sometimes you'll come across what appears to be an insurmountable obstacle, like a huge mountain that separates you from your success. You might think that climbing it and chiseling away at it is the answer. It's almost like fighting against a mountain. Who does that? Nobody can, right? Um, but why take such a treacherous, tedious approach? Be like the rivers and flow around mountains naturally. You'll move past this obstacle relatively quickly if you choose the easy way around. This is a time to adapt to your circumstances. If you do decide to climb, remember, take one step at a time, opting for the next right action. Okay, so, yeah, they're saying, you know, don't fight the mountain. I get it, but it's also, don't fight it either. Sometimes these things happen for a reason. They want you to take the way around. They want you to stop, like button your head 
on something that can't be fought or won. There's always the light of the moon, which is um, the psychic coming in to help you. Okay? Surrender. I can release my need to control. Trust. Accept that my inner voice. And trust that this chaos and conflict is taking you in a more balanced position. And this is what the past and anything that you've been going through has been trying to bring through to you, Pisces. Trying to teach you. Okay? The Knight of Swords. The Strength Card. The Ten of Cups. The High Priestess turned but did not come out. Seven of Wands. Oh. Okay. So it. I tried to grab it, but it fell out. So we're keeping it. You have the Hermit for a first card. Then you have the Knight of Sword, which is all about action. So this is introspection, action. Going for your Ten of Cups, but it almost feels like you're missing it somehow. What I feel is like you're just you're just missing the 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 the, the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. It's just a little bit out of your grasp. Okay, and the Seven of Wands is that meeting up to this challenge. So I'm going to put this like this. In the past, it may have felt that sometimes you were thinking of things like to do, going inside. Um, going in this inward journey, but no matter what direction you took after, it's almost like it was just, just past. It was like almost a vicious circle of going round and round with yourself, okay? I feel they're, they're really showing a picture of the past. There's that strength card. Yeah, it really did want to come out. King of Cups, the calm and the storm. The Three of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles upright. Okay. You've had a lot of strength in your life and leading you where you needed to go, okay? You did do a lot of inner work. And you did find the courage to move forward and do what you wanted. And that courage has, has been propelled, and that, that, that action, I should say, has been propelled by your belief in the divine um, bringing you ultimately to your prodigal, to this happiness, okay? You do feel abundant for the blessings that you have, but I feel sometimes, like I said, there's a little bit of a hit and a miss when it comes, and you can find these times a little bit challenging. Sometimes you're not seeing everything, right? There's that tower. There's the chaos and conflict. The chaos and conflict, it's bringing you strength, courage, and it's also making you look for help, for teamwork, for solutions. That's what's happening. That's why these things are happening. Okay? 
your queen of swords. She's so smart. She's so strong. But she's strong enough of character, even though she's been through a lot. Even though she she's experienced sometimes great loss and sorrow. She's always so optimistic and so smart. And like sharp as a tack to know that there's abundance and help and guidance always available. Always available. You've got a lot going for you, Pisces, here. The Ace of Pentacles. And you're always, always. These things are always helping you plant new ideas. Okay? They're helping you plant new brilliant ideas that are going to help you and propel you forward and bring you back in harmony. There's the balance and the harmony here. Okay? I feel that they're explaining how the past has worked for you. How there's been moments of sheer agonizing um, problems or, or situations that have really taken your breath away for some of you. Okay? I know in my life it's been like that. But there's an optimism in this reading that helps you surpass it. A way of always returning back internally and always taking action on those those special internal hits that you get. And this is like you communing with, you know, your inner light. That that I mean, we're not even touching um the divine intervention that comes in here. This is like from within you. That shines inside. You go with it. You know you are part of that divine intervention, but sometimes we like to think of these things outside of ourselves. So you're thinking internally, and it propels you. It shines a light, makes you go. But somehow, like, I feel that this is a hit and a miss, these two cards. You always feel like you're just missing the pot of gold, you know? This in this case it's it's in reverse and the, the rainbow is here. This one isn't reverse, but look how far the rainbow is in the background. It's almost like you're here, but not quite there, which is where here is. Okay, do you get that? That's what I feel. So sometimes it feels like you know you have abundance and it's do you feel the abundance? I feel that's more of a feeling. This is a, a materialistic uh, I can see the abundance. This is like, do I feel it though? I feel that part of you feels like it's been missing it. This chaos and conflict is trying to show you. This is showing just how strong you've been. This is showing you what that's trying to bring on in you. Okay? So like I said, you're struggling, but you always know that you're abundant and strong and have the ability to keep planting new seeds. The Hermit shows you so much strength. You already have that inner guidance when the crap hits that helps you. It's generally a very good reading. It's, it's, I would, I would say that this is like, um, somebody who knows how to survive and thrive. You survive and thrive in life. But right now, I think that what they're trying to say to you is that it's, you need to do more than that. You need to see it for what these episodes are in your life. These, uh, these, they're showing me like a sitcom, you know. There's the hero, okay. You go, you hit a snag, you solution, happy ending. And I feel that sometimes you go, you go, you hit a snag, some kind of solution, some kind of happy ending, and they want you to finally shake off. Shake off the rest of this. Don't try to patch the stuff that fell off. I feel that's what they're trying to say. Don't patch this. That's not your, that's not your goal here. Your goal is to let it fall down. Let it, let it disintegrate so that you can show who truly you are. Amazing. Okay? Amazing. So trust and surrender to it. Okay? Try to stop climbing the mountain. Just go around it. Okay? Um, I think that's it. I, I feel that's it. And I feel that with the three pentacles in the middle, they're saying you're not alone. Please make sure to call on your guidance. Your, your guide, your inner guidance, your outward 
well, it's not outward, it, we're all together, but the way we see it is we have guides out there and there's, there's a guide in here. So whatever way you see it in your mind's eye, in your third eye, in your chakras, in your energy field, let it in, okay? Let them help you, let them guide you. All right. Well, that's it for me, my beautiful Pisces. I'm going to end this here, and I'm going to come back and do balance later on. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being part of, of my channel. I, I think you're absolutely fabulous. You guys are beautiful. I wish you could actually see you move around and see all your, your beautiful energy flowing as you move through your days. And... Uh, that would make me super happy. Anyway, we'll see about that. Anyway, anything I have to offer is in the description box if you're interested. I'm sending you love, light, and blessings. And um, take care. Bye for now.